what's up guys so today we're in my room today um not riding my motorcycle because it's pretty hot but i kind of just wanted to show you what kind of goes on when i'm not really riding my motorcycle and working more on like decals in the brand but let me take you around let me show you what my room setup is kind of like that way you guys can get a good sense of how my room operates and how i operate the brand within my room and how i could work with such little space but yeah so if you guys didn't know i have a brand called bad look brand or bad look it is an apparel company it's a lifestyle company that i created in 2019 so if you guys want to support or even just check out the website head to badlookbrand.com and just uh, see what the website is like uh, let me know if you guys have any like opinions on anything or just I don't know, just check it out. Just check it out. Walking in, so my door's right here. Walking in, this is my table. It's about 97 inches, so it takes up the entire wall. I have a little, uh, not little, I guess, it's pretty big, but it's like a softbox light, uh, TV, you know, casual. <laughs> but this is my Cameo 4, and then we have my cutting mat. I got the um, humidifier going just to help reduce the dust flying around and I have it on the Asian chair so shout, shout out to all my Vietnamese people if you know if you have this chair you're definitely Vietnamese or Asian all right but it's basically a stool okay so we have my computer over here um, you know we just doing all that uh, this is where I get most of my work done um, photos for decorations from all my prints and stuff or for my film camera so these are all 100% 35 millimeter camera uh, photos except these top ones are from my digital camera but if we go over here we got my guitar this is kind of like the cubby but this is where I store all my uh, clothes so I don't have everything um, bagged up uh, in each individual bag just to save plastic so if I don't need to send or if I don't need to bag everything up I'll just leave them in here in one bag one big bag and then some of them aren't really bagged up but uh, yeah, this is kind of like where I store my stuff. I keep some like extra stuff right here sometimes, but this is the workhorse. This is my heat press that I got off my friend. Um, honestly, so glad that he like they hit me up um, to sell it to me because I was using like an iron at a time when I should have been using this, but definitely been getting some really good quality prints on shirts um, using this. So yeah, I need to shout out to them. I uh, appreciate it. So, but yeah, this is basically, I mean, I keep maybe, I keep like my bagged up clothes. The white shirts get dirty easily, so I bag those up. But then the new ones, since I have low stock, I just bag them up. Got some more stuff in here for like um, printing and then just a bunch of like shipping materials in this one. But yeah, so that's pretty much like my room setup. I mean, I have my bed in the middle. It, it pretty much like I can touch my bed because it's pretty close to it. Um, but I work with what I got. But today we're gonna, I'm gonna probably do some more decals. Um, I have these mini decals, so let me show you. So this is my business card holder. And this is, you know, I keep like these little decal stickers to give out and then my business card. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but. <laughs> I usually like to carry my business cards and stuff around just in case like someone asks me about my shirt. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's my brand, you know. I don't really try to market myself like that. So if someone, you know, says like, oh, you know, that's a nice shirt. I'll be like, hey, this is my brand, blah, blah, blah. I'll give them a business card and, you know. <laughs> but I've been getting a lot of traction through like peer to peer. So it's been pretty cool to people tell me that a lot of people ask about the shirts, which is super nice because, um, you know, when you, these, these stuff that I make is like handmade, you know. Um, I have the shirts and then I design them. Some of them I had to hire a designer, obviously, but, you know, and all it's like kind of your, your it's your creative process that you put out to the world and so when people respond to it it's a pretty nice feeling but yeah we're gonna make some decals and then i kind of want to make like a brand hat i have so i have two hats that i thought i was gonna like so this one says i need beer and you know badly brand is kind of like a chill vibe kind of like hang out with your friends this one was inspired by my friend noe uh, it's the no eye hat so it's just basically like a knife through eye it's supposed to be kind of symbolic because it's a bad look but I think I'm gonna add one more hat design and it's gonna be like a simple hat that says bad look on it <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go ahead and do the decals first and then we'll do the heat press last because it's pretty hot today So 
have the decals all printed out like this. Now I'm using this little like Fisker. Uh, it's just basically like a little cutting board with like a wire. And so you get pretty precise cuts. Probably do this side first. So I always start on the outer edges just so everything's even all around. Okay, now we do the bottom. All right, and now all we gotta do is just cut. Cut it like that, and now you got all that. I don't know if I can see it. And then these are the, these are basically the decals that I give out on every order. I've got some more decals back into my card holder. All right, all good. All right, so this is kind of like the design I'm going for. It's kind of like a Scrabble kind of look, I guess. Um, it's actually the font that I have for my um, previous shirt, except it's all caps now with no hearts. But I do like this font. I wanted to kind of use it one more time, and I think I'm gonna do it with the hat. So this will be the design for the hat, and we're gonna go ahead and press it on. Uh, I have this like, pink hat that I haven't used. It's kind of like a pale pink. It still has this tag on there. And then I have a black hat that I'm gonna print on it too. So I'm um, gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this cut up and then we're gonna turn on the heat press and get this all situated. Also pro tip, if your vinyl pops up, um, tape the corner down with like scotch tape or masking tape. Uh, I haven't had an issue with it yet. And honestly it helps when I'm cutting material like this where it's like pretty flat and it kind of just pops off the uh, little cutting mat. So. I usually try to do it like this and then I'll make sure I'll cut it in maybe just like a little bit below and then that way it's not like too like or that way it doesn't cut the little scotch shape in the corner but this should work out perfectly and we're just gonna go ahead and print and I'll show you how, what the results are okay so I we did everything out but let me show you like one of the problems when you cut your own stuff they're pretty much similar up until you get to the K right here the bottom part right there didn't uh, cut fully so there's no gap between the K so you see how there's a gap up on the top of it now there's no gap right here that's just one of the things and it's backwards because when you print and press it on it's gonna be like that so that's why it's backwards but it looks like I won't be using this middle one but I'll be using these two now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up and you're gonna have to use um, heat tape I guess you could call it. It's basically just tape that's heat resistant and then I'm just gonna mock it up first and then we'll go ahead and heat or use the heat press. Okay, so basically I have it set up like that. I don't have a heat press, so what I'm gonna do is actually just do this by hand but with the heat press. Um, and then yeah, we'll just go ahead and press this on and then it should be pretty good. I need a Teflon sheet and I have a magnet right here. So Teflon sheet magnet, I'm basically just gonna magnet the top of this. Just be careful, it is kind of hot. So, and then I'm gonna wear a glove because we're gonna need to put a little bit of pressure on that uh, on that design and you don't want to get your hands hot. You might want to put like a rag. So basically, I'll grab my hat, make sure this little insert is taken out. Make sure that's how you want it. It's gonna be hard to even out, but I'm just gonna stick my shirt in there. Stick like a little shirt. So, it's going to be slightly even pressure, but we just need medium pressure and we're going to do about 14 seconds, but you just want to make sure you don't like burn it. So I'm just going to, you know, make sure it gets even pressure. Okay. Now that I got a pretty like good heat, I'm just going to take the shirt out and I'm just going to use my finger to make sure there's contact. That should be enough. I think I did a little bit too long, but it should peel off easily. Well, bam, we got our first hat. <laughs> I think maybe it might have been a little low, but this hat's pretty small. So I think maybe right there is perfect anyways, but I just want to make sure it is all good. Looks like it is. Oh, it's a little too small for me. What do you guys think? Pretty simple. The material is the flock material. It's kind of like a suede, so it it's not embroidered, but I mean, for my operations at home, this is pretty good, so. But yeah, leave a comment down below. Uh, tell me what you guys think about the design. Tell me what you guys think about the hat. And honestly, it's pretty simple to do. 
um, you do kind of need a heat press but um, yeah what do you guys think but that's gonna be it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoy that I know I didn't run my motorcycle today but it's pretty hot today so go ahead and you know give the videos a thumbs up if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video thank you for watching guys I'll see you guys in the next one peace